What are you doing? I'm trying to find hidden messages. Hmm. Nothing. Issued on the Fountain of Paradise. Do you have to scan every single one of those? Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer, and I just played Tacoma, one of my most anticipated games of the year. It's a narrative-driven sci-fi exploration mystery, developed and published by Fulbright. Tacoma was released for Linux August 1st, 2017. I bought this game with the help of my incredible patrons. Thanks guys, you make this possible. If you want to help this channel grow, you can pledge a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can hit that subscribe button. The first impression I got when boarding the Tacoma, the titular space station of the game, was a sense of scale, followed by a strong familiarity. The architecture, neon colors, and general style of the vessel gave me the sense that I was returning to Rapture, the city from Bioshock. Now, the strong narrative impact from the opening of Bioshock is less represented here, but I still see many similarities. The game's art direction is on the precipice of cartoonish, but that's okay. Personally, I find games with a deliberate stylization hold up much better years after the title's release. Not to mention, I find myself buying into the emotional weight of a character and the story of a game if there's less emphasis on poly count, performance capture, and other things that quickly start to show their age. Now, some people unfairly judge Unity games. I know I've been guilty of this too. But when there's a team of actual real-life developers behind the game, Unity is a decent engine. My biggest gripe with Tacoma, and the Unity engine in general, is the controls. Controls in Unity always feel like some kind of cheap imitation when compared to other engines. That being said, I played the entirety of Tacoma with my Steam controller, and it was serviceable. However, with no in-game sensitivity adjustment, moving the camera was ever so slightly too slow for my tastes. Also, I had to remap the left trigger to the right mouse button through the big picture controller interface as the left trigger refused to do anything when mapped correctly. Tacoma's gameplay follows many of the tropes of other first person games. If you've played Firewatch or Fulbright's previous title Gone Home, you'll have a grasp of how this game feels. In Tacoma, you are trying to uncover the mystery the game presents to you. You move from area to area, searching for different bits of information or unraveling the augmented reality logs kept in station memory. Much of the information is damaged, so it's up to you to read as many emails, text messages, or other items throughout the station to get a better understanding of what's happened aboard the Tacoma. In terms of gameplay, you can move around the station, interact with and examine items, watch augmented reality recordings, and look at the AR dashboard of each crew member as they become visible. Tacoma's gameplay may be decried by some as yet another walking simulator, but I find such a slight to be missing the point. Games like Tacoma, Gone Home, and Firewatch, in my opinion, are modern day adventure titles without all the lunar logic puzzles muddying up the experience. Tacoma performs well, with no noticeable slowdowns or stuttering on my GTX 970 powered custom steam machine. In terms of the story, you're put in the shoes of Amy, a contractor from the Venturis Corporation. There's an air of mystery as you board the Tacoma. You're given objectives from a nameless contact at the company, asking you to download data from the station's computer and retrieve the station's artificial intelligence. As you enter the station, it's strangely empty. Eventually, you happen upon your first augmented reality recording, and these recordings show the activity of the crew acted out by colorful echoes of themselves. Now, I announced on Twitter that I was going to go into spoilers in this review, but as the title of this video might have led on, I've changed my mind. I'm going to make a separate video about the ending of Tacoma and my thoughts on it. Watch out for that this Friday. If you have yet to play Tacoma, you need to. I completed my playthrough of the story in less than three hours. For some, myself included, that might seem a bit short, but honestly, you just need to play this game, especially if you're a fan of science fiction. 
The story is great, the atmosphere is unmatched, and the characters have a genuine feel to them. Tacoma is available for Linux through the Humble Store, GOG, and Steam. Links are in the description. Have you played Tacoma? What did you think of the ending? Leave me a comment and let me know, or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer, and I'll try to respond to you in my next video. If you enjoyed this review, you can support the work that I do over on Patreon. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends, and as always, thank you so much for watching.